Welcome to the Bremen, Bremen District 228 Television Tilly Park Winter Edition. I'm Daisy. And I'm Obi. Here's something you might find interesting. Teens, do you ever feel as if life is harder than when our parents were teens? Some people say yes or no. Here's reporter Daisy with more on the story. Thank you, Caleb. Well, teenagers believe that high school is hard with school and everything else. But with the help of technology, things could be a little easier. Yes, I know. Yeah, because it helps you like look at, look at stuff for after school. Yes. Because you have more access to information. With life being hard for kids in the 21st century, teachers find the time to reach out to the students to make the school life easier, even if most teachers agree with the hard life. Uh, it's harder because you have so many opportunities now that it's harder to make decisions because of all the opportunities that you have. But in some ways it's easier for students who already know what they want because you have a lot of resources. School has put a lot of pressure on teens with picking the right classrooms, getting involved in school clubs, and joining sports to get in the college or university they want to attend. Because there's more competition, there's more people that you have to compete against to do better. No, I think it's actually meant to make your life easier, and especially with all the adjustments that we're doing in our lesson planning now. I mean, we pretty much set it all up for you. You just have to come through. Life is challenging, but most people believe that high school is harder for teenagers now than it was before. For Bremen District Television, I'm Daisy. Back to you, Kayla. Thanks, Daisy. But teens' life can't be that hard at Tinley with the recent recognition at the Honors Assembly. That's right, Obi. We recently held its annual Honors Assembly to recognize students who do consistent, top-quality work and contribute super effort on projects or assignments. Our show improvement in work ethic, attitudes, or academics. Students are nominated by their teachers and awarded a certificate at an all-school assembly. Over 100 students were honored this year's Winter Assembly. In addition, four students of the month were recognized. These students are Tyler Biederman for September, Kaza King for October, Spencer Roulette for November, and Ellis Moore for December. Following the Academic Awards, Athletic Director Mr. Mike Magnin introduced the all-conference athletics athletes for the spring and fall 2013 seasons. Members of spring 2013 softball team presented Principal Dr. Teresa Nolan with the third place state trophy. The assembly ended with an outstanding performance by the jazz band. Over to the athletic side of our student body. The competitive dance team who were awarded the Sportsmanship Award at the IHSA Competitive Dance Conference hosted by Eisenhower High School. The team placed fourth in the blue division. Two dancers, Cassie Molina and Courtney DuBose, received all-conference recognition. This is the second year in a row these two young ladies have received this award. While Tinley Park High School is always proud of our athletes, success we, our athlete success, we are even more honored to see that the players and the coaches around them would vote them this year's winner of the Sportsmanship Award. Great job, ladies. Briefly, congratulations to Nick Shipwright for finishing 28th out of 150 bowlers at state. Nick averaged 215 at state, the highest average in Tinley Park history. The girls' bowling team placed second in conference. Mallory Fisher placed second and Michelle Marvin seventh. The cheerleaders advanced to state after placing third at sectionals. Thanks for, watch thanks for joining us this month and make sure you check out our video on website www.bdtv.com and like us on Facebook. Bremen District Television, for Obi, I'm Daisy. We'll see you next month.